Hello there, let's carry on writing your song. Where is my guitar pick? Guitar pick disappears. There is my guitar pick. Guitar pick reappears. So before we move to other guitars, what I've done is I bounced drums in place into audio track so my processor doesn't require to process samples all the time and basically uses less resources from my computer. What I also did um, for the guitar effects track, um, for the very last riff that we copied from the beginning of the song, um, I added some effects to it. I added some trummel later phaser, um, then waves plugging Mondo mod, um, which is basically on the preset where is it, and centered and ranges like 180 pretty much, and synced it up to the BPMs of the song, that is 110 over here. Um, what this plugin does is just pans your guitar track left and right to the ratio that you select, and then just filtered it out a little bit so it cuts through slightly. Um, let me show you what it sounds like without and with plugins. So yeah, pretty cool effects over there, so um, let me show you one plugin at a time as well. So I cued it this way, so um, would be uh, like high end of the guitar and mids would cut through a little bit through the mix and not take up too much space. So it sounds quite cool altogether. Um, let's move on to the lead guitar. Um, I had a little idea for a pre-chorus, so let me show that to you. This time I'll be using my 7-string Schecter Reaper. I really like it. It's a really sick guitar. This is my baby. Um, and yeah, we'll be using that for lead guitar. I had an idea for pre-chorus, which would be... So let's track that quickly. I want it to ring out pretty much throughout the whole section. So what I'll do, I'll track a few bits separately and then join them. I'll show you what I mean by that and what it sounds like. There we go, um, let's double track that, not double track that, but create another track, which is duplicate pretty much, and I'll just fill in these little bits here, let's record that. Same thing goes twice in there, so I'll just copy that. I'll add a little fade out here so it doesn't add mud to our notes that are playing already. And basically, that way, I'll join these together with Command J, Mono, and it all will appear just in one track that way. Let's copy that into our second pre chorus. Also, lead guitar tone-wise, I went for classic lead in STL tonality by Will Putney. I added a little bit of compression there as well. So it doesn't hit like more than 3 dB reduction, but um, 
just evens out my lead guitar so it doesn't pop out too much and also I'm using electric guitar preset with analog option off and I adjust the peak reduction to hit around minus three. Also what I'm doing is sending my lead guitar into delay bus so I selected bus number 10 over here and my delay is set up to ping pong connected to host which means it syncs up to the tempo of the song eighth note feedback at 65 fully wet and analog option off high pass and low pass filters engage so it just creates bigger feeling to it It always helps lead guitars or like octaves and stuff like that to cut through a little bit better. Cool, so next thing I want to add is clean shimmers. Clean shimmers, uh, the way I do them is either put a clean amp on them and then put a shimmer plugin or just a shimmer plugin. This time I'll, I'll try using just a shimmer which is Valhalla shimmer. Um, I whack it up to like 80% or something on the mix knob and add some feedback to create some more harmonics on it um, and then also I add a limiter so whenever I'm playing it doesn't again stick out too much maybe that's a little bit too aggressive but you can see that audio level over here stays pretty much the same which I want from that kind of effect. Um, so I have an idea for chorus. There we go, got our chorus idea here. What I'll do, I'll just copy it twice here for our double chorus. So I have this idea for clean shimmer for breakdown part as well. Cool, got a nice section for breakdown. Let's see what breakdown sounds like with this being an octave higher. Yeah, I prefer having octave high over there. Next track I wanna add is lead shimmer track, which is pretty much same as clean shimmer, just we're using a lead amp before Valhalla plugin, so I'm using sweet lead. And that sounds like this. which I want to use for intro riff for sure because I want some more energy than just from a clean shimmer
next part I want to add some sort of shimmer to would be a heavier verse because here it's quite fast so we don't want to add too much to it because I think all of the focus will be on vocals and guitars but once it drops here we definitely want something there so let's try and come up with something. We just add different ending. probably want to add something for pre-chorus as well just to support this whole lead line over here I think that gives us a nice transition into chorus. I think what we could try is putting this riff octave higher. Because that's pretty much the same as I understand. Yeah, let's, let's whack that octave higher. Last note is the same, so let's try and put that maybe seven steps up. See what that sounds. Nah, that creates a nice harmony. Also had an idea for an outro riff over here. There we go, got our lead guitar, lead shimmer sorted for the song. I really like adding octaves to different parts of the song and especially for something like chorus to elevate it, make it wider and bigger sounding. Um, for lead, for octave tone, I usually choose something with a little bit less gain because then it helps it to cut through and doesn't add any mud to the higher frequencies and lower frequencies of rhythm guitars. So I've selected this rock tone, which sounds quite cool, I think, for octaves. Yeah, and I'm sending that to my delay bus as well, just to add some epicness to it. Um, I have this idea for chorus. So let's try that. And let's double track that. Cool, let's copy that to our next chorus. And then once more here. And I had an idea that would be quite cool, I think, to for the second round um, to elevate it a little bit more 
we could tune these octave higher, bounce them in place and then blend them in. Also don't forget to tune these back to zero. Let's see what it sounds in the mix. It's cool, I think it elevates it a little bit and gives some sort of different flavor to it. One thing I've done before recording this video is I had an idea for doubling up rhythm guitar. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, um, a cool way to beef up something is to record either palm mutes or octave lower palm mutes of the same riff and add slightly darker tone and blend that in. So that's exactly what I did for chorus and breakdown. If we listen to a breakdown guitars here, Yeah, and have a listen to the So I'm just playing root notes over there, palm muted, kind of with a darker tone. And have a listen what it sounds like all together. Without, and I'll add them in after. some beef to it basically um, and I did similar thing on the chorus as well Just to mention, um, if you are using STL tones and you want the same tones, um, I, um, what am I using here? Let's see. Push low blend from Putney guitar tones. There we go. Push low blend it is. So I'm pretty happy with the structure and how it evolves throughout the song, how many parts there are, what adds up, what goes away, etc. etc. And next thing that we can do is start adding bass. 